like, you see a lot of Lucidas, but using them at, like, high level players, you don't see as often, so. This will be interesting to see for sure. And how Ant does. Especially with his projectiles being nerfed as well, that is going to put him at a slighter, a slighter disadvantage in a really bad matchup. So, maybe we'll even see a switch. So this, it is going to be a Lucina from Mr. E. That uh, is so strong over there. Sorry, it's like so distracting. Yeah, it, it is. Um, but yeah, as you can see, oh, oh my, my god. god. Wait, <laughs> Wait did he just up B right away? Yes, right okay. away. It's super fast. It is, uh, I think it, it's, it comes out frame one in the air, so it, he just barely avoided that bowling ball hitbox. Frame one um, up B, what? Yeah, in the air. Uh, so the aerial version is frame one. Gotcha. Very first frame. But, uh, here's the tricky part, you know, we were talking about how Lucina does well against this character, but you definitely have to play a like, very slow and methodical game. Um, it's not like o against other characters where uh, if they don't have projectiles, you can just like get in their face and space at the tip of your sword. Great! Yeah. It's going to take that first stock, but it, yeah, as I was saying, it's not like other matchups where you can just kind of run in there and space out at the tip of your sword because Villager is constantly playing a keep away game. Oh, really great trip. Real pressure too. Yes. What is the heck is happening? Um, but yeah, as, as I was saying, like, uh oh, directional air that dodge. That air was enough to take it. I think he may have actually been able to make it back if he had a directional air dodge. The uh, the up special, the dolphin slash, does go a fair distance, so. It, Probably, maybe, maybe not. He would have had a better chance if it wasn't for the directional air dodge. That parried? Yes. Oh, parrying the jab right here and getting a down air out of shield. That's a, a move that I'm like starting uh, to see is actually like a super strong option that not a ton of Lucina's are. This is just showing the veteran knowledge that uh, Mr. E has. Down air, if you catch your opponent approaching into you, like running in with a dash attack, you can just down air out of shield. Oh, it's gonna be super good for her. Yeah, and actually is landing on him with the down air once again. Already 141% here. Yeah, Mr. Er, e, yeah, taking, kind of struggling to take the stock as well. Yeah, he's gonna up the out of shield, it looks like, looks like there. He just take that stock. Yeah. And uh, it looks like he's slowly adapting um, to Ant's place. Style, you know, as well, just kind of throwing out projectiles, hit and run. Um, but Ant actually only had a stock deficit here. He, oh, wow, he got 80. Wow, he was so low. Met him, lined up the back air, and got that first game. The future is not written. Um, All right, well, never mind what I was going to say. No, but Arizel, actually, you had a really good point, is that he was, Mr. E definitely figured out the matchup as he went along, and what you could see is that at first, he was starting to read, like, uh, pay attention more to what Ant was doing in neutral. Um, villagers will tend to, like, fade back, use their forwarder and back air to yeah. create space, and then use Void Rocket to condition their opponent to using certain options and then punishing those. Um, so Mr. E, very patient, uh, waiting these options out, and actually, you know, once he knew he had an opening, that's when he went in. That's when he went in for the guaranteed uh, combos, and you can see he was able to get, like, forward air chains, forward air to back air, uh, just, you know, what Lucina does, which is different in a lot of other matchups. You could actually aggress your opponent, like, much more because yeah. you can get away with it. But with Villager being such a, uh, a passive character, like, it's, it's not going to work the same way. We are going to see the switch to Marth here. Of course, the main difference between Marth and Lucina, for those of you that don't know, is that Marth has a skipper hit. So at the very, very edge of his sword, the knockback is increased. He's able to uh, get much earlier kills Ooh, than Lucina might. Uh -oh. Nice down air. Taking that stock really early off of Mr. E there. Wow. Yeah. And the only problem, as I was mentioning, he does have the uh, really strong tipper hit, is that you have to be maximum spacing all the time. And if you're not getting those tipper hits, uh, you, you're struggling to kill a lot of the time. You're not doing as much knockback, uh, not sending your opponent into as unfavorable positions as wow. you might. Wow, did he do something like near like that sent him into the black hole? Yeah, I d I'm not really sure uh, what happened. He hit him with, I think, uh, the side B. It was probably the tipper hit of the yeah. uh, of the dancing blade that is very strong. Another thing, uh, the dancing blade does have a tipper hit, um, which is incredibly strong. Uh, 
But yeah, the thing is, it's it's gonna be hard if he's not able to get these tipper hits. And uh, so far, it's looking like Ant's actually doing a lot better this game. I've been watching. Just kind of letting you talk, but he's. I feel like the stage counter pick number one was really nice for him too because it's giving him a lot more space yes. and there's not as many platforms for Mr. B to utilize here as being um, a shorty. Absolutely. Ooh, that yeah, so we, well. we could probably figure that Ant ban, or um, excuse me. <coughs> yeah, I'm not really sure uh, why he would have just picked this stage instead of uh, Final Destination. Maybe maybe just for the fact that it is wider. He's probably more comfortable. Wow, the yeah, forward And the smash. high ceilings as well for Town. Yeah. Um, definitely makes it where you're not dying as early as well. For sure, yeah. Okay, so far, not a bad grab. deficit. Here's another grab from Mr. E. Definitely a really good position right here. Forward air out of that jab. Okay, I like the mix up on his shield. Oh my god. It's so scary at the ledge play too as well, especially when you're fighting a sortie. <laughs> if they get an F smash on you, 50% uh -oh, you're no dead. <laughs> Doesn't need a tech, it's all right. Villager's we'll got like recovery. Yeah, unfortunately, not enough damage to actually send uh, Ant too far. Uh, had it been a higher, at higher percent, he may have actually lost his stock. Yeah, Mr. E, scary offstage, looking for that fair or to reverse that neutral upbeat as well. Force Ant into a teching situation, which uh, is scary. Oh. oh my god, the bowling ball. I would have probably, honestly, maybe not on town. Yeah, but probably not from across the stage. Yeah. Unless it sent him in the opposite direction, that might have killed him. It, 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 it would have sent him in the uh, Barely making it back. Mr. E, another chance right here. Great neutral air out of shield for Ant. Looking for that one read. This is a dead even game, despite what the percentages might look like. All, all Ant needs right here is one setup. That down smash had it buried. Mr. E may have oh. actually been the end of his stock. Yeah, Mr. E didn't get that catch up throw. As well. Great DI into the corner. Wow. Oh, no. no. I wonder what he was trying to. Um, it looked like he was trying to use the um, universe uh, pocket to kind of like keep his movement tricky and land on the ground. But I think he would have gotten punished either way. And unfortunately, yeah. it landed.